Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how I did this pretty glossy butterfly for this birthday card I made for my husband's grandmother who's turning 80 coming up here very very soon and so I'm going to make another card it's not going to be exactly like this one it's just different um, that's a special one of a kind making another special one of a kind for my friend who's um, having a birthday coming up next coming up this Sunday so what I'm going to be doing is I cut this butterfly from Ashland's alphabet and it's cut at 1.93 I cut the main image and the shadow. And then I've got this product here by Stan Pendis. It's called the Clear Embossing Ink Boss Gloss. And it's available at Michael's and at Joann's. And so all I'm going to do is... It's basically your embossing ink, like what's in Versamark ink pad, or any other embossing pad that you might use, but it's in a bottle. So it's... Um, you can apply it pretty thickly. And then I'm using Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel. That's also available at Michael's and Joann's. Um, it's also known as UT, U-T-E-E, -E, for Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel. Ooh, I'm making a mess. This is a pretty messy process. Um, the heat gun blows this stuff ever. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I'm just really getting messy today. Okay, and I'm just using this on my heat resistant craft mat here. And we need to keep this close by because you heat this up and then you dip it back in here and you heat it up and you dip it back in there and you just do it as many times so it's as thick as you want. Heating it till it melts. And it's melty and it's hot. Really, I really like using this um, UT. I'm thinking about getting one of those melting pot things. It's a pot that you can get that actually is for melting this stuff. It's hot, but I'm going to pick it up with my fingers because it's easier. these containers to save space but I don't know it's kind of small but it's okay it's working While it's still warm, you can actually shape it so that it has that look of, you know, so you have that dimension. And it's pretty hot, so if you have sensitive fingers, be careful and just know it is, it's hot. I'm pretty tough when it comes to heat. But yeah, most people would probably be saying, ouch. I'm okay. Now if you wait too long to do this, it'll crack. And if you wanted to have a look of like cracked glass, you could do that. But if you 
you do it while it's warm, you can get a smoother look. So there. I could add a pin to the back of this and it could be a little piece of jewelry. But I think with the melting pot, I think you can just dip it in there and it would coat it completely front and back. But see that? I really love that. I love that look. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Now let's move on to the next step, which is using um, my Martha Stewart puncher on the page punches. And I got this double loop one recently. And what you have to do is make sure that your paper is cut to the right dimensions when you're using these. This is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And the next size is five inches. If you don't cut your paper, to the right dimensions, it won't work. It won't line up properly. So like on this one, I cut this paper here at three and a quarter by five. And so there's a lot of things that you can do with these. So I'm really, I'm really pleased with them. Okay, then you take it and you line it up here on the other side. So pretty. Love it. Okay. So this is going to go here. And it's going to go, it's going to be popped up off of there. And then my butterfly is going to go probably about there. And the bottom says, happy birthday. Oops, off camera. Okay. Scissor, scissor. Oh, there it is. going to pop up the corners. And this pattern paper, it's a DCWV stack, an older stack, and I'm not sure what it's called. I want to say the wrong thing, but I, I got it in like a big lots or something like that, so it doesn't really tell you what stack it came from, but I know it's DCWV. here, centered here, and then we're going to pop up the flower, I mean the butterfly, and the sentiment is a one of those Studio G um, stamp sets from, I think it was Michael's. Just in the center, I just added the dimensionals to the center. And there you go. Simple card. Thanks for watching. Bye.